How many reinforcements are they having? Whatever. Hey, Cataphract Tag Print! One and two, finally! After like 15 ancient dangers, we got one. We got one. All right, so we're hoping for the other Cataphract Print. And we're hoping for a weapon. All right, let's see here. Ancient Danger is close again. Very nice. Is there a second one? There's a second one again. Gene Stealers or Gene Dealers. What do we get? Bionic Spine. Oh, look at that EMP launcher you got there. Way to go. Look at you. Excuse me. You make me micromanage all this? How dare you? Ever done a save everyone run? Yes. The good guy run. I've also done a do all quests run. Two of them. Two of them. There's an ascetic. You want to keep them in prison for over a year? There's a tough too. And that one's dead though. <laughs> Aesthetic, too smart, Pyro. Um, maybe, maybe. Yes, we got the second tech print for Cataphract. Finally. It's only a matter of time, I guess. But geez, man. All right, let's bring that home. Get it done. Streamer luck. I mean, it took us like three full streams or more to find them. So I don't know if that's luck or not. All right. So we didn't get a weapon, though. So we do want to do an, uh, some more of these for weapons. But, uh, yeah, we got the tech print. Now we'll get some drugs coming in. Big time drugs coming in. Steven, are you just going to be a prisoner for another year? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Uh, blight on the psychoid plant, but we just planted them. I freeze. You know what? I, I feel like doing some right clicking instead of the trick I usually use. So feels like feels like a right clicking sort of morning. Forty year old furniture builder, a psychic suppressor with eight man hunting tours and unknown threats. So the suppressor would only impact Christopher and it, only if it's on his ginger. So that might actually be a positive for us overall. It's gonna impact our slaves too, though. Um, we can take care of it very easily. Let's just accept it and see what it ends up being. Roy! Right, Roy, are you amazing? The amazing Roy? Roy might end up being our, uh, a royal someday. Sanguine super unit ascetic. Best suppressor, male gender. Hey, and Christmas female. So we might just keep that forever. The suppressor isn't doing anything to these because they are psychically deaf. So it's only going to impact our slaves. So we'll go through the slaves and see what we think. That's actually going to affect enemies. It's only affecting Sim. Literally just Sim. Being psychically dull good. It's good and bad. It depends. So you don't have to worry about psychic events impacting those people. Which is good. Uh, but also they don't get any benefit for, from the positive psychic events, which is bad, you know? It depends. That's right. Hmm. Acidic smog. Nice. Fallout and end up playing super cautious how much play you have with staying outside um usually as long as you don't go past minor build up you're you're pretty fine yeah like i try not to go back past minor but even into moderate you should, you should be okay mm -hmm. mech hive 6400 raid points attacking from multiple directions uh crap we don't have the 
There's three Tesseron. Okay. Oh my god, three Diabolus. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> We're not quite ready for this these size raids. Uh BMO, we don't have a weapon for you. <laughs> oh, do we see that squirrel? Go, squirrel. Save the run. What? They're not waking up from the squirrel? Come on. What if it's a combat pet? What? I could have sworn animals woke those up previously. Well, this might be a little terrifying. Oh, and they're already on their way. That's going to wake the bugs on that side. Let's just see what happens. Let's go ahead and uh, get in here and do our go juice. Oh no! Send the dog out that way it was a bad idea, guys. Oh god, the wall's open!
Oh, we're live for now. All right, Crispo, we need to get this done. Whack, whack, whack. Some had a lung destroyed. Had a kidney destroyed. Just to get this done. And those off for now. Sander can hit again uh, within like a day here. So we gotta get this wall done. Triple Diabolus. <laughs> uh. Boy, that sending the puppy really screwed me up. Next time we're just gonna send a slave. All right, that's good. Turn bed rest off. I don't have time for bed rest. Fine. Only death was one puppy. Yeah, I think so. Bunch of boom rats in the base now. There's a bunch of everything. <laughs> All right, it's fine. It's fine. All right. Well, that was very uh, lively. Should have done what I initially thought and went out and just attacked one of them on her own, but solar flare. That's not good. Uh, let's use a soothe pulser for the slaves here. I'm actually surprised the mechs won that, but I think it's because a lot of the bugs ended up coming inside. Fighting else instead. That poor squirrel, he's for happiness. The weapon gives uh, happiness when you can kill something with it, so. Squirrel live? It did until I just hit it in the head with a hammer, yeah. But it survived the bugs and the mechs? Yeah. What happened is, uh, one of the, one of the dogs was going through this door, and the dyad was locked onto the dog, and then it just blew the wall open. <laughs> Bemo holding legendary wood. Yeah, of course. Hopefully Sand was only going to hit once this time. What date was that hit? That was the 5th. Uh, so if she hasn't hit us by the 8th, we should be should be good to go out and look for a new weapon. So we get this guy converted. Also reform our ideology. I'll wait until next time um, we do these. Like 11 days. Uh, friggin' boom rats. That's one way to do it. <laughs> one, uh, Ursley, thank you for reintegrating your love for the game. That's awesome. Yeah, they really let me know. Chance. I mean, there's just so much to do in Rimworld. Even before you touch mods or anything, there's just so many things you can do. Like, I have so many runs in my mind that we're going to eventually do. And some of them, I don't... I don't know. They're going to be... We're going to lose a lot. Like, I think an explosive-only run is going to be stupid. I don't, I don't know if we could win an explosives only run actually, but I'm, I'm going to try an explosives only run at some point. Explosives only sounds like it'll be really fun, but maybe, maybe actually impossible. Imagine starting out and the only weapon you have is a, is a frag grenade. <laughs> like what are you, what are you going to do? I think one of the fun things about the Winston Waves run is I had to kind of reinvent some of the ways that I played and some of the defenses, right? I had to figure out new ways. So I'm thinking that through the stress of explosives only, it will force us to develop some uh, new explosive strategies, which could which could then be used in the normal runs, you know, as an addition to sort of thing. Yeah, I, I'm going to do one of those at some point. I don't know if it's going to be the next one, but I think it'll just be st stupid. <laughs> stupid run. Lots of runs, probably. All right. Ancient Angel is pretty far away this time. So we are looking for Arcotech items and weapons, basically. Grenade kill box incoming, yeah. Oh God. <laughs> wow, face to face with a centipede with a minigun as soon as he opens the wall. <laughs> Yeah, take, good thing the minigun has a warm-up time. Pretty significant warm-up time. <laughs> so we got blasted. All right, let's see what's in this. Good marine armor. All right. It's all in this map. We'll go hit another one. Yeah, you can't settle another base that's touching 
Plane is already settled, so that's the only reason I have to go out a ring there. All right, so that ancient danger. There's two on this map. Nice. Nice. We're looking for a weapon. Melee weapon, of course. All right, Crystal, let's see if you're face to face with a centipede again. Yeah. Just a single pikeman. <laughs> All right. Ooh, a good... Hey, look, free wielder kill focused. Excellent, excellent. So... That is perfect. Perfect. Okay, we just cut her head off. Nice. Excellent. Zach did not get beheaded, unfortunately. An orbital bombardment targeter. That doesn't seem very melee to me. No, don't, don't enter. <laughs> uh, that's melee if it goes off in melee range. Uh, no, no, it, no, it isn't. All right, one more. Uno Moss. We already got a weapon though, so ready to go back home as soon as we get done with this one. Higher choice than like res macular serum. Yeah, that weapon is super good. So for anyone that doesn't know, free wielder means uh, anyone can use it. Not gonna bond, so we can pass it around as we need. And then uh, the kill focus is just going to give them a mood increase every time they kill something with a weapon. It's gonna happen quite a bit now, run. Ooh. Joy wire. Think that I have that shield belt. Must be our last tech print. Healing factors, that's it. We got them all. All right, let's get that weapon home. Hopefully they get out here before they break down. Get back home. That weapon equipped and uh, start working on some more. Uh, well, we need to get, we need to re-ally people so we can call in some allies to help at least thin the numbers on some of those crazy raids. Full things around Christopher. Oh my God, come on, Christopher. You just waited just a little bit. Can you insult the horse instead? See, I thought about just punching him, but the thing is, he is tough and robust. And we have extra melee damage, so we could literally kill Christopher. Or, you know, dismember him, and I'd rather not do that. Social fight is less likely to. Yeah, there we go. Alright, now they'll head off. Major break now on Crick, probably because they have like a minus 30 for being insulted or some bullcrap. Take a look. Christopher called me ugly seven times. I'm going to think about it for two days. It's worse than that time when my fiance died. Get over it. Apply that. And where's that weapon? There it is. Give that to Bemo. Very, very nice. Oops. Look at that. Free wielder kill focused. Excellent, excellent weapon. Yeah, it's, um, Locke still needs a better weapon too, so I guess after Cassandra's next attack, we'll go out and look for one more Persona weapon. Sedic. He's gonna destroy a kidney. Hey, we need that kidney. Oh, it's gone. He just punched a kidney out of existence. Nice, excellent. Boomalope self-tamed. Boomalope is infinite kim fuel. All right, so our next goal now, um, we got a couple of them. Get this cataphract research done. Then I need to get some more things ready for Cassandra attacks. 
All right, do we have skulls? We've we been getting skulls yet. Uh, do you guys have anything that we want? You have components, if nothing else. I have an architect leg. If we can, if we can swing that. We'll take it. Actually, we can get it. We can get the architect leg. Let's do it. It's worth it. All right. So the architect leg. Uh, Christopher is our best doctor, so I don't really want to put it on him. Maybe Blade Spark. Actually, Bimo. Bimo is the ones doing planting predominantly. Uh, all right, Bimo. And you have an aching right leg anyway, so we're going to go in and we're going to turn Mind Freeze off from Doctoring because they have low uh, manipulation. Bimo, we're going to set to the best medicine. Saw Architect leg. Okay, what's the best hospital bed? Excellent one. All right, Christopher, do your drugs and operate on Bimo. Or I'll lose that leg. Hey, look at that. An architect leg. Nice. Okay, we got to remember to start harvesting the skulls next time. I still need a uh, art, uh, right, an art colonist because you can't have an art slave. So when's the next time we can uplift people? Uh, 1.2, basically a year, 37 days. 37 days, 37 days. How much is my best pawn worth right now? Uh, I'm not sure. Let's see. 1575. 850. This is just the pawns themselves. 175. Nice. He's only worth 175. That's excellent. We should get rid of everyone else's hearing. 1455. 695. Because I flow. 6480. That's going to be the one. Because they have two architect arms. So our most valuable pawn so far is at 6480. Um, We do need to replace those uh, those one arms. Let's see, her legs, rather. So she kind of needs some. And arms. All right. Start working on that. So we're going to make um, bionic arm times two. And bionic leg times two. Okay. I guess I should make an actual little hospital part. Yeah, we'll make a little hospital room. I want the surgery chance to be as high as possible on these these bionic surgeries anyway. So we'll make one really quick. And we'll disease again. Hey, it's done. Cataphract research. At long last. That should do. Okay, we're going to link these two together. Clear. We're going to go medicine. All the medicine there. Be our critical spot. Link these ones. And we'll put body parts here. That's critical. There we go. Is there any lore behind Drug Slave's name? No, just that they cook drugs. I haven't named them anything else yet. <laughs> I will, though. But uh, the lore there is that they, they cook drugs. That's it. That's their lore. Okay, the bionic arm is done. Um, can I get Christopher off to trade really quick? A little risky. Phantom's got to be hitting soon. All right. Run, Christopher, run. Ride like the wind. All right. So, mainly here to get some silver for our floor. They have an architect leg. Ooh. 3058. Oh, man. I have to come back. I'll grab their advanced components, too. Is Germ World hard to get into? Uh, I would say yes and no. So, slump. My answer there is that with RimWorld, there are so many difficulty levels. You can put everything on like peaceful, the very basic. You can play with like no threats and just learn like, you know, building and feeding your people and stuff like that. And that's very easy, right? And then as you get more experience with it, you add more difficulty, more depth to it. You can add mods, DLCs. You can start, you know, watching content for it to learn some ins and outs. But just remember that the game is designed to be a story generator. And so, and losing is fun, right? So there's a, there's an infinite amount to learn. You'll always be able to learn more stuff. 
but I find that a good thing because you don't need to know all those things, but I find it a good thing because the game never really gets dull in that sense because there's always more to to do and to learn. Uh, but I don't think it's super hard to get into, especially if you put it down on the easy difficulties. It really depends. Yeah, it's contingent upon. All right. Uh, so we're ready to put these on. So prosthetic arms. Uh, bionic arm left. Bionic arm right. Do some go juice here. We should have an incredible chances for success on this. So his operating stat is 121%. And then on the bed, we have 135%. So I'm pretty sure Christopher can't really fail this, but you know. All right. Got the bionic arms on. Psych addiction on Sim. Whatever, Sim. Whatever, Sim. Stall bionic left leg. Stall bionic right leg. Just gonna do that while you're still high on go juice. All right, excellent. So now we can also put uh, Mind Freeze finally back to doctoring. Need to replace another leg. One more leg, one more arm. Two more days till we get our festivals. Cassandra will be hitting us again here soon as well. Uh, we're going to end up needing to grab more limestone. So, uh, that steel. Ah, uh, we're... we're Eh, we'll, we'll let them finish out that steel at least. <laughs> A new waste pack infestation. How big can these get? building there walls just walls 27 mega spider cocoons 27 mega scarab cocoons and 36 spellipede that's bigger than a normal infestation these days why did it trigger uh, it's because of all the all the pollution so you get a second one i've never had a second one so i'm not sure five dollars buster all right i need uh four cataphract elements Seven thousand point raid. Approach from multiple angles, attacking immediately. Awake the bugs. Sim, you better get in. I think the bugs are going to win. Well, there's more tribals coming, though. Let them fight. All right, we got melee on melee. Melee tribal versus melee bugs. Pretty even fight right now. Oh, but the uh, tribals are given up, but a lot of them are locked into melee combat. The real question is, how many Mega Spiders are left? 21 Mega Spiders. 21 Mega Spiders. All right. Well. All right. Oh, there's actually a bit of travels left. I should have waited. I didn't notice there were so many down on that side. Slaves, maybe we'll see. 
Uh, Hypernova. Thank you for the four months. Thank you, Hypernova. Task. Found me on YouTube. Love the stuff. You're good. After three days, finished it. Now you're looking. That's a good guy run. The good guy run was, uh, was an interesting run. Yeah. Thank you for watching those. Bugs win, but not a lot of bugs left. Uh, I'm not going to worry about those. If you stop chasing those to come back to our base, please. Thank you. I appreciate it. Here victory against survivors. It didn't really look like it. Because we're looking for tough specifically. I didn't see any tough pawns. Like, there's some good pawns, but... Shikan, what? What are you doing with yourself? I went in on the combat. There's a lot of freaking bugs laying there. You know, you have a weapon that makes you happy when you kill things with it. Come up here. 